Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Vernum 6. This is not how I was, uh, well, planning to have this next episode start. I don't even know if this is going to be a full-on episode or just a little bit of a of a bonus, um, like 0.5 episode. Uh, but I, I kept trying a couple more times, and I felt I found that from the handful of attempts that I have done, the most promising or the least devastating ones the least catastrophic ones were the ones where I actually just ran over to the other circle, ready to kill those defenders as quickly as possible. And um, I was this time around, I was able to kill one of them quite quickly, the other one kind of quickly. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, we were, we still got decimated. Um, but I actually just managed to kill the final one of those uh, defender zombies, and this happened when you stand in the circle something strange happens. I mean, we, we've been standing in the circle this whole time, but I guess um, up until now it was, like, occupied by the by Nasiduous uh, summons. And for a moment you don't feel cold anymore. You you hear whispering all around you. The circle seems to be calling ghosts to you, bending them to your will. And then with a soft popping noise, a shade appears at your side. It doesn't attack you. Instead, it begins to drift towards Nasiduous, eager for vengeance against the one who has been tormenting it. Okay, there's an avenging spirit that's on our side, which is great, except that we are going to die. Like, <laughs> we are absolutely dying. Um, we'll see if... Oh, God, and now he does this, of course. And he summons, like... I guess probably the, the summoning of these... Uh, of the hunters is probably a thing that just happens... As part of the the combat, uh, the encounter mechanics, and he also just happened to summon a terror wolf as a normal kind of summon. Of course, only after his devastating range attack. He did use that once before in this encounter, but it's it's super random. Uh, the, like the two or three attempts before that, he never did any attacks really. I guess I've also been keeping him somewhat busy just uh, casting haste on his himself and his minions over and over, and... Well, there goes any hope that we had. Okay, so we will have one of those things summoned to our side every turn, it looks like. <laughs> of course, we haven't seen one of them e even do anything yet, because, well, at the time we reached that point, we were already completely screwed. The thing is, I mean, we, we just we just cannot deal with these with these uh, zombies here fast enough while also fighting off his uh, his hunters and their um, their guaranteed fear on on melee attack is so devastating that basically makes my warriors completely useless and I I cannot keep up with the healing while also keeping them you know while also dispelling the fear every turn it's just not possible. So, I mean, yeah, basically what I've been doing is something like this. Just stand here, talk to him to initiate the encounter. Then we got these guys here. We start fighting. We hope that we don't get parried immediately, which... <laughs> yep, and that's an instant reload, of course, because we, we just cannot afford losing one of our turns like that. We did get hasted, so that's nice, but yeah. And do that on the other guy as well. Uh, basically starting with uh, armor reduction, so, you know, if we hadn't miss this guy, he would be way closer to death, of course, so... Um, doing this... would bring that first one pretty close to death. We did not get a haste proc for for Lulu here. Of course, it's never something you can really rely on, but... You know... Anyway... Instead of dealing damage, I, I have been doing this a lot. Because... Uh, I feel like that's... If nothing else... Well, there's a chance that it's actually gonna slow him. And cause him to, to skip a turn, which would obviously be huge. Or, you know, really, any of these enemies not doing anything for a turn would be nice. Um, but if nothing else, it's, it might uh, keep him, or it might, might make him more likely to actually cast, uh, you know, haste over and over to counteract the slow. Which also helps. I think for now I'm just going to do this once and cast a boosted... Rain of Fire, which of course didn't kill anyone, and so we're still dealing with all four of these guys who are going to attack. Their attacks are 
not that bad. I mean, the asset is annoying, of course. Yeah, and then it gives us the message telling us about his invulnerability, even though we didn't actually try attacking him yet. Um, anyway, I guess you can stand there, maybe try to kill this one. Okay, that's one down. Oh, okay, that's actually two. But yeah, I mean, you can see that there are more and more of those shades, and they're going to start attacking us now, and, you know, everyone's going to start running in panic, and it's a mess. Going to heal. Again, no haste proc for her. Oh, he's actually... Oh, he was terrified by a no assiduous uh, single target uh, haste attack. Okay, the Rain of Fire. That was his Nova attack that missed everyone, or maybe it... No, never mind. It, it definitely damaged Ayali, of course. But that's fine. She can take one of those, no problem. Um, now the question is, what's the best course of action here? I guess I slow again? No haste for me, though. And that thing attacks, and now they're both terrified, and he's getting damaged, and more damaged. And he actually ran, but they both ran away, okay. Previously, I got kind of lucky with them actually pre pretty much not moving at all, just staying around here, but... Yeah, now they're probably both out of out of range for this. I'm, I'm actually gonna heal, which I guess got them all, at least. Okay, and that did dispel the fear, of course. Okay, he ran out of his circle. If only that would stop him from summoning more of his shades, which technically it should, you know. But, of course, no such luck. And there's nothing we can do to stop these things. Um, which means that Hawk is dead. He's just dead. We are all still hasted, surprisingly. I guess uh, Nosidrius has not been casting slow on us. I'll do that one more time, just... Because why not? Yeah, he was gonna die anyway, and he was not gonna kill any of them. And now she's terrified again, obviously. And yeah, did these guys recover health? I feel like they were damaged more before, but maybe not. Either way, I mean, you can see how this is just not, not realistically doable at all. I honestly, I don't know how I, I must have gotten incredibly lucky to even be able to eventually kill two of them. Uh, actually. Part of what helped was that I, at some point, did use a Spine Shield scroll. Yeah, I did that. So, um, yeah, the last two actually did en end up killing themselves, by mostly by attacking Lulu and Hawk, who were the last people standing. Um, yeah, and then we reached the point where we, we were starting to get our own shades. I mean, if, if we could reach that point with all four of us somehow still alive, um, maybe they could at least serve as a distraction to intercept these these hunters, but yeah, as it is, it just doesn't seem feasible. So I think, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess I could continue from here, I suppose. Um, but of course, continue by just giving up on this encounter for now because it's just, I don't think it's worth my time. It's, it might literally be impossible. Uh, yeah, thanks. And if it's not literally impossible, then it's incredibly unlikely. And, you know, incredibly luck-dependent, like so many other things before. So, for now, we'll just... We'll just take a note about this, and, you know, we'll be back later. I think that's better for, for my sanity. For everyone involved. Oh, that leads... Oh, that's intriguing. That leads upstairs. Wait. Where would that go? Huh? Somewhere over here, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. Just right over this way. Oh well. We we got what we came here for originally, but you know, it's it always feels bad to leave something behind. It's also a little bit out of the way, but you know, whatever. We're gonna well hopefully at some point I will judge correctly that we are indeed strong enough to, to face that guy and make our way back over here one final time. Of course, it would be annoying to to come over here only to learn that we are still not quite strong enough. Oh well. But let's not 
assume the worst, I guess. Anyway, uh, I mean, the contracts should be dealt with, right? Should stay that way. Oh, never mind. Straggler or respawn? Who knows? Anyway, I guess it's nice to be back to, uh, you know. Oh? What? <laughs> um, be back to some enemies that are easy to deal with, uh, I was gonna say. This is the same message we got the first time around, though, right? We we did get this. I didn't somehow skip it. I mean, I I don't know how how it could possibly be how I could possibly have skipped it because surely the triggers to to see this message must be must extend all the way across the corridor. Yeah, this is literally just the same message we got before. I have no idea how why that's triggering again. It's mildly concerning. I hope. It's not a sign of anything else breaking or something, but... Well, I don't know. I don't know what could be causing that to happen, or... What other potentially worse thing that could potentially be indicative of. So I'm just going to assume that nothing bad is actually happening and continue. Where's this lead? Oh, okay. To this little trapdoor in the middle of nowhere. Gotcha. Well, I guess it's time to find out. Okay, never mind. It's after we deal with some more random wildlife. It is time to find out what happens when we trigger the caravan quest. I mean, realistically, nothing should happen. And the game should acknowledge the fact that everyone was expecting an ambush, but none was coming. Oh, I also never checked this. Okay, there is no follow-up for uh, what's-his-face. Okay, looks like the caravan is actually, um, has actually formed itself here in a way that it hadn't before. Interesting. Okay, if, if the, the ambush still happens, I suppose there's, you know, one explanation for it could be that, you know, uh, some of the marauders had already been lying in wait for this, and, you know, the fact that I slaughtered the rest of them, including their leader, wouldn't necessarily affect that, right? They don't necessarily even know of that yet. But if it still happens, and if, uh, if people are scripted to die, honestly, I might just reload and instead report to the commander and hope that we can avoid doing this you know, having to do this escort entirely, not because it's an escort mission, I'm sure it's not going to be that bad, um, but because, you know, realistically, we have dealt with the situation already, and, you know, it would be silly to accept any more losses for no reason. Um, you know, just for role-playing reasons. I'm, I'm really just doing this because I'm curious how the game handles this, doing things maybe slightly out of order. Commander Boswell orders me to escort you... Yeah. She looks miserable. Her worst fear has come to pass. So, this is, it. this is it then. She looks at the refugees, all waiting and ready to travel. It will be a long, fast march, down the road to the east, towards Silver and safety. Boswell hopes we'll meet the raiders. We, of course, hope we don't. We are bait, but it seems to be the only way to lure the attackers out. Best that you heal up. Let me know when you're ready to go. Well, we're ready. Also... I kind of hope, I kind of wish we could tell her that, you know, we have already slaughtered most of them and there might not be an attack at all, but, well, we'll see. Driver Miller and nods. This is it then. I hope this isn't my last day of my, li the last, what? My last day of life. Okay. We're not doing anything fancy. Straight down the road to the east, that is all. Follow us, stay close, and for all that is holy, keep us safe. She gives the call like she has so many times before. The refugees pick up their meager sacks of belongings and they begin to march east. Okay. But, I mean, I, I guess we're now following the road, right? Yeah. And over this way. Uh, where are you going exactly? Oh, okay. Well, this is where an ambush happened before. I don't want to run too far ahead, just in case they all... Oh, of course. So we, we are getting attacked. 
Um, I mean, I kind of expected that, to be honest. The caravan has stopped for a rest. The fungal forest around you seems ominously quiet. Some of the refugees sit down and fail to relax. The marks of earlier ambushes are still plainly visible nearby. Then one of them points to the south. What was that? There was something! You look where he's pointing. You don't see anything at first. And then you see them. At least uh, a half dozen of them. Human materializing out of the trees. Most of the south, some to the, uh, most to the south, some to the west. Toward you. As they get close, two of them hold out their arms. Clouds of flame appear around their hands. The refugees scream. Then they turn and run back toward Fort Randlon. Without your help, none of them will survive. Well, I mean, we are here, and at the very least, we should be stopping these guys from following the uh, the refugees. Also, interestingly, this uh, long-lasting armor buff that we have is, uh, is still up. That's impressive. Marauder Karak. You come face to face with a man in plate armor. He must be their leader. An odd black amulet hangs from around his neck. He lifts his visor and looks at you. It's... yes, it's you. We will be rewarded with a generous bounty for killing you. He lowers his spear and charges. Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, ten action points. Fancy. Uh, where is the guy? Oh, it's over this way. Hmm. Huh. The game mentioned two flame casters, basically, but I only see the one. Hmm. Okay. Should be able to reach this guy here. How tough is he? Okay, he's pretty tanky, but the others should just be, yeah, the same kinds of enemies that we've been fighting before. Here, just... I would really... Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's not great. So there are more than half a dozen of them, actually. All right. Well, I was going to say I would really prefer to focus on one of them at a time. Actually, maybe... Uh, I, I guess in hindsight, I should have had both Xaz and Yali run over to these guys, and then, you know, these here would have probably run over, over there as well. Well, it's what it is. Let's see if we can deal with this. I will actually shoot this guy just to... Uh, I mean, I'll try to shoot this guy. There you go. To hopefully prevent him from uh, attacking the refugees. Okay, there's more. How many more, actually? Just these two extra from that direction? I guess we'll see. Can we get them both? Oh, no, we can't. But, I mean, this guy is already on the way to attack Ayali, which is great. Oh, right. Lightning doesn't work very well. Um, is that Melisenda? Oh god. What a jerk. Yeah, okay, you guys just run. Don't don't try to be heroes here. Uh, I said n don't try to be heroes? Who are you? Traveling refugee. Just randomly attacked. Melisenda. Okay, she's she has a good number of hit points. She's not gonna die immediately. That's good. Um, that being said, we've been taking some pretty heavy damage here, and we're all spread apart. I don't like that at all. Okay, uh, you move over that way. Actually move again, even though it's going to cost you some action points. Well, he's not going to be able to run away, really. Run over to the others. Uh, so he's just going to have to hold his ground over this way. Um, uh, continue attacking this one here. No haste procs at all. Hmm. Who has attacked him, actually? I think that was just, uh, this, this flamecaster. Okay, Melisenda is tanking. I like that. Ah, no kill and no... No haste for us. Okay, they're still moving away. No one's died yet. Come on, give me haste. Okay, or just kill that guy, that helps. Oh, 
almost. Hmm. Well, now she's been taking some damage here. That being said, I'm gonna risk it and just kill two of them like that. Yeah, she's taking even more damage. There, yeah, I'll hopefully distract that guy. Oh dear. Oh god. Things are not looking amazing. There, drink a potion. Okay, that's another one dead. And ah, so close. Okay. I might be able to keep you guys alive for one more turn like this. What if I actually kill this guy so Ayali can run over... Oh, okay, or she could actually... Wait, I, you can't reach this guy for, for some acid shower, huh? No. Okay, we're just gonna burn this flame caster then. <gasps> no! No, he's dead. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, he died. <laughs> really? He died from the freaking acid debuff. And I didn't even catch what uh, what killed Hog. Wait. Flings a long lance of flame? Sans takes damage? Oh, Hog takes fire damage. Okay. How do I scroll up so much? Okay. Uh, well, that's not great. But we might actually be able to pull this off. I mean, this is obviously super ugly, but... Um, you know what? <laughs> a victory is a victory. Where's Melisenda actually run off to? She, she just ran off, right? She wouldn't have died. She had way too many hit points for that. I guess I just expected her to, to stay and fight, because she seemed somewhat capable. Um. Okay. Congrats to the level up, I suppose. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to give her Blade Master, and for that she'll need an item. Okay, so no level up for now. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, we don't... Well, we don't have War Blessing yet. He thankfully only attacked once. Thank you for that. I'll uh, reduce his armor and attack power again, and hopefully just generally draw his aggro. I'll just do this twice. It's inefficient, but at least now we're both doing kind of okay hit point wise. And ideally, it should just be a matter of slowly whittling down his hit points now. Okay, he's gonna change aggro occasionally, but. He only attacks once, which is oddly, you know, oddly benign. Blow, could have done that last turn. 80 damage. And he's dead. The leader of the Marauders, well, of these Marauders, falls to his knees, gasping and cuffing blood. His spear falls to the ground. You... Uh, you will not take me back. In an instant, he has a long, vicious dagger in his hand. I will not be taken. You try to stop him, but he's too fast. One quick, lethal motion and he's dead. I mean, okay, I wasn't gonna leave him al alive. <laughs> not sure what he was thinking. Well, I suppose... The idea is that we're not getting any information out of them. Oh no, if only we had some other way to to find the Marauder's camp. By maybe some something like just looking around, using our eyes, you know. Uh, now that he's still, you get a closer look at the odd amulet around his neck. It is an intricate onyx carving of a kite rack. Interesting, you take it. Well, I mean, if nothing else, this time they're not going to take their dead with them, removing all of the traces, which I believe is what we were told they, they were doing before. Um, Iron Short Sword, Chainmail Vest. Did he not drop anything of interest? 
Maybe the control foe scroll? Maybe. Uh, I'll come back and loot uh, once we're all resurrected again. I mean, I'm not exactly proud of this, of how this combat went, but, you know, honestly, it worked. And no one died. I mean, <laughs> none of the refugees did. Hey, my Lysander. Soul Soldier, what brings you out here to talk to me? Um, nothing. How are you holding up? Not well. She seems genuinely shaken. The brigand attacks. I suppose I knew I risked death traveling that road, but I never expected... Uh, it will be some time before I can face that journey again. Okay, so she kind of acknowledges, I guess, that the attack happened. But no mention of... Uh, of all of the refugees making it back safely. Oh well, anyway, let's, uh, let's just report our success, I suppose. The caravan was attacked. Man, now I can... I would really want to know, though... If if I could have reported on the death of the Marauders before ever starting the the escort, I guess I can always do that, just out of curiosity. For but for now, we'll just uh, play along, I guess. The caravan was attacked. You tell the tale of the caravan attack. The commander listens attentively. That is interesting. It is good that you saved so many of the refugees. Yeah, all of them, right? Could you may maybe just make that, just explicitly say that so I feel better? I'm grateful. It was difficult to put them at such risk, but I had no choice. My orders were to evacuate them. Based on what you have told me, we know much more about the attackers. Who they are, what direction they came from. Well, I mean, not really. They just stepped out from behind the, the trees. They could have come from any direction, really. I think I know where you should begin your hunt. Um, yeah, actually about that. Uh, anyway, what should I do now? Hunt the raiders. Yeah, well... I have long suspected that the raiders are based over the river to the west. Several times our sentries have seen movement in the mists across the river. And then you saw that attack from the south. That area is well patrolled. The only way they could appear and disappear so easily is from the tunnels below us. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Enter the tunnels, find a way to the raiders, and destroy them. Only then can Fort Renlon be secure. Well, oh, okay, yeah, I also found this brooch on their leader. He takes the brooch and inspects it. A kydrak. Very interesting. You should show it to Rogelio. Seems his sort of thing. Right. Uh, I wanted to talk to Rogelio about the destruction of the kydrak nest anyway. Okay, where should I go once in the tunnels? Look for a way to explore to the west. I do not believe they would be able to hide to the east, deeper in Evernight territory. My best scouts have already scoured those tunnels. Uh, why are the raiders attacking in the first place? He laughs dryly. He will have to ask them, or preferably just kill them. Hmm, I mean. Right. Now let's just talk to this guy. Um, I found this charm on a raider. Show the Kytrek charm to him. He takes the charm and holds it with great reverence. Oh, to have skill. Oh, to have skill with magic. To be able to make such things. I can sense the power in this. The way it can bend the weak minds of Kytrex. A marvelous thing. Where is this from? You tell him, hmm, I've heard you're hunting bandits, and one of them has this? This is interesting. It makes me think. What does it make you think? Kydrex are not hard to evade with care, except there is a huge nest of them under our feet to the south. Maybe this charm helps the murderers to pass through there. It is possible. Well, yeah. That's it? I can just show him the same thing again? Uh, okay. Kind of, kind of lame that I can't tell him that I destroyed the Kytrek Queen and the entire nest. It seems like a thing he would be interested in. You know, he might be interested in just going there and checking out the, the remains and, you know, doing his research. But alas. Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, I found the brigand camp. The leader is dead. And that all happened even before the, uh, the caravan attack. You tell the tale of the battle against the raiders. He nods. Our sentries saw signs of the battle. Oh, you already knew? Okay. <laughs> I do not want to believe it. Those murderers acting in such a way against their own kind. And for what? It makes no sense. Well, we did find those uh, papers about, uh, you know, the, the correspondence between, uh, the, what's his face? Uh, Ozimus and uh, the Shadow, which kind of explains things. Oh. Anyway, but you have done very well for us. The road can now be protected. The remaining refugees can escape. Fort Randon will be secure. 
you should report this triumph to the castle. And I want you to have this, as a personal expression of gratitude. He takes a long, slender ivory wand from his desk and hands it to you. When I was there, I found a message... Oh, I can't mention it. Oh, okay. When I was there, I found a message from Kres Is. Then that solves a mystery. That is why they worked against us. The agents of the Shadow do all they can to divide us, to corrupt the weak and mad among us. And to think, when I was in the north, I almost killed that monster. Thank you for letting me know. I will send word to the castle. All right. Anything else? Is there any other way I can help you? He shakes his head. I can now take care of my problems myself. Okay, now you can. Your services are, I think, best used elsewhere. All right. Anything else changed here? I guess not anything I can help you with? Nope. Oh well. But we have a ton of things to sell, if nothing else. Uh, there you go. Eleven of those, two of those, eight of those. And whole mountains of other various junk. Well, actually, also some pretty valuable things, not just junk. Just uh, trying to also make sure not to accidentally sell anything that might still be useful. Uh, let's see here, stacks of food. Obviously we're keeping those. Uh, stability girdle, yeah, no thanks. Not selling those. Okay, uh, this is all sellable, right. Spears, javelins, blast helmet, fine cloak, gold ring, coated cloak, yeah, no use for that. Oh, right, this is what we just got for a uh, reward. I mean, that's, yeah, that's definitely one of the more valuable, one of the more powerful ones. So I'll definitely take that one. Okay, and we sell. We are at 19,000, and now we're at 22,300. Okay, not terrible, actually. Pretty decent haul. Uh, yeah, this one, I mean, I guess she can keep that... Sure. He actually already has one. All right. Yeah, Rod of Sucker. Honestly, she, she never uses these. You know what? I will give her a way of uh, group healing because, well, she doesn't normally act first, I guess. Hmm. Does he have another one? Maybe he should. Yeah, normally his turn comes up first. But he also tends to deal more damage than Yali does. She can deal good damage, but that requires all of her attacks to connect. Well, even if just one of his hits, well, connects, it's it's usually pretty decent damage. So I guess if I have, if I want to have someone do more supportive things, it makes sense for her to do that. Also, her her turn pretty much always comes up second before any enemies. So that should still be good. Yeah, these shielding potions are just not worth it, I don't think. We have armor elixirs anyway, enduring armor, enduring shield. Maybe we'll just sell these actually. Or just keep uh, keep collecting them. Like so many other things. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> um it's not like they're worth a whole lot, so you know. Okay, anyway, that solves this situation here. Hmm. I'm gonna save. But I am curious. So uh, let me just reload my hard save from the beginning of the episode and run all the way over and see if we can report our ultimate success without ever triggering, triggering the uh, caravan. Because, you know, realistically, that should be possible. But... Uh, We'll see. Okay, we are here. Just ran all the way back over from the Necromancer's Lair. And what do you think? I want to say... It's probably not going to acknowledge it. That's disappointing. So it absolutely insists on having that ambush happen. Even though there's absolutely nothing stopping me from running over and just dealing with the Marauders. 
I mean, I guess uh, technically Carrick was it, and his people are still hiding out in the in the undergrowth around here. So we haven't technically dealt with all the Marauders, but we have killed their leader and found out about their motives, and you know, killed ninety nine percent of them, ninety five percent maybe. So in all, you know, realistically, we we have dealt with the Marauders. Just yeah. Really disappointing that the game did not apparently uh, foresee this order of events. Maybe if I had never picked up the the quest asking me to to talk to Melisenda and start the caravan, because yeah, there's just no way to to get rid of this quest now, other than actually starting it and and finishing it. Hmm. Anyway, okay, now I know. Plus, of course, fighting this fighting this guy, uh, despite being uh, somewhat catastrophic, uh, did give me experience and items. So you know, it's obviously, I would have done that anyway. Uh, was there anything else? This looks like something. Oh yeah, bronze spear. Although that might just be uh, left over from this. Uh, earlier caravan attack that I was not present for. Okay, anyway, that's that. I mean, I suppose we're... with that we're actually completely done in the Eastern Gallery, aren't we? And the Lich... Uh, yeah, well, it's gonna happen eventually. Not for now, though. Find out what happened to him. Yeah, uh, we don't have any clue about this one, right? I did try asking around in the abyss, but I couldn't actually find anyone to to ask about him. So I'll just have to hope that we run into him or some sort of clue uh, just by playing normally. We do have a couple of these, I guess, for what it's worth. And we have more mushroom samples. Right. In fact, these might be the last ones, right? Well, we definitely have the ones from the Great Cave Abyss. Oh, no, never mind. Northern Avernum. Never mind. Obviously, we have not been there. But, I mean, obviously, we're going to be headed there next because it's really the only... the next major part of Avernum that needs to be... well, maybe not liberated. I guess we haven't really done much liberating, but, you know next major part that we haven't been to. Uh, so there was nothing else for you, right? Uh, wait, there are more options here than there were, aren't there? What brings you out here to talk to me? Uh, tell me about the route. Contracts, horrors, the raiders. I mean, they are dealt with. Are you holding up? Not well. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the game could do a little bit more to acknowledge what I've been doing here. Maybe after I officially finish the quest, things are gonna change, but I don't know. Not holding my breath, to be honest. I feel like the game is probably not expecting anyone to return there, necessarily. Um, although, I mean, there is the... there's actually the priestess, right? Or, well, I don't know if she's officially a priestess. Um... T Tanya Vinia, was it? Who will who will teach us spells, so we might have a reason to return there eventually. In fact, come to think of it, have I even ever learned... Oh yeah, you know what? I don't think I have. I think I'll, I'll be returning there right now. Because I never actually did learn the, um, the two spells that she had that were immediately interesting to me. I was going to wait and see if, they're, if they were getting any cheaper. And then after I helped her... I never double checked. All right. Okay. Anyway, um, I will sell just these random items here. Thank you very much. And I will hand over a couple more flawless crystals. Two and three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fort Ramon. Is 
one final check. Nope, nothing here. It's weird. Virgilia does make it sound like there might be another quest on the board from him, but no such luck. Uh, can you teach me? Oh? Oh, return life. Right, she did promise us to, to make something else accessible after we help her. Or after we help the captain, perhaps? I don't know. Either one. Um, but we already have this. Higher skill restores more health. But I mean, if we if we can only do that out of combat, that is completely meaningless and definitely not worth this horrendous cost. Cost. <laughs> so um, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Anyway, uh, also there's a staircase up that I don't think I ever used. Good thing I returned. Um, right. Can you teach me? Provide me with training, please. Uh, Ward of Steel, yeah. I think the prices are the same as before, but... I think these are both worth it. Both spells I use a lot. Well, the Ward of Steel maybe not a lot, but it does definitely does come in handy. Okay, and I never actually checked this out. We picked the lock. Should not be breaking into this. Interestingly, I guess we could have taken one... Almarian wine from her own personal um, storage and uh, handed that back to her for the quest if we really wanted to. Okay, anyway, uh, glad I came back for the spells, at least I did remember in the end. And now I guess we're gonna head back to... Well, first we're gonna hand over the mushrooms, I suppose, and then we're gonna talk to... Uh, what's his name? Levitt? Uh, castle. And we'll see how appreciative he's gonna be of our of our successes. My guess would be not very, but we'll see. Hey, uh, I found these... Uh, I found a diseased mushroom in the Eastern Gallery. Several, actually. Sage Asta fetches a pair of tongues, takes a sample, inspects it, and seals it in a ceramic jar. Entirely different from the sample I have already. And thus quite valuable. I will pay you well for this. Uh, we also have like nine more of those, if you're interested. Hmm. She gives you a pouch of coins and a flask containing a sticky purple goo. I don't need any more of this variety, but please watch for samples in the other locations I mentioned. Well, the one remaining location. That would be helpful. The more we know about the blight, the better we can combat it. Okay. Healing elixir. Um, wait. Does it mention what she gives us? Yeah, a bunch of, um, a bunch of coins in a flask containing a sticky purple goo. Apparently that's what a healing elixir is. Good to know. Have the samples helped? Not yet. Oh, of course not. Okay, two healing elixirs actually, and th 200 coins. Sure. Thanks, I guess. Uh, also, you leveled up, and also you leveled up, and I meant to give you a thing. Which I guess I am doing right now. There you go. So, yes, that unlocks Lethal Blow. All right. And it starts at a pretty reasonable cost, to be honest. That's nice. Awesome. And for you, yeah, we're still pretty far away there, unfortunately. But, you know, it's fine. Blade Master is going to help, of course. We'll see if we ever get you to the point where you, you get uh, Lethal Blow. We'll basically see what happens first, the end of the game, or uh, or that point. Um, well, I guess we're done here for the time being. There was a shortcut down here. Yep. Hello, sir. Mm, I've taken care of the raiders near Fort Drenlon. Give a report. Levitt listens to your report. He takes no notes. In the end, he nods. A dangerous band of foes. I would like to know more about them. Who they corrupted, who aided them. Who they corrupted? Hmm. Um, who aided them? They should have spent time in my cage, but we can't have everything. I'm going to st I'm going to have you stop working on this set of tasks. I have a new task for you, what? but we already finished all of them, actually. Huh. I have a new task for you. High risk, but high reward. Receiving this mission will be a great honor for you. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, well, first, Kotra has been properly exploded. 
Livid listens to your report. He takes no notes. In the end, he nods. Fascinating. I've already had other agents claim samples of the new compound. We shall be able to reproduce it ourselves very soon. Okay. It's good to know that that um, newly discovered art has not been lost, I guess. I'm going to have you stop working. Yes, yes. Well, what is my new mission? Slake Gavasa Oz. Wait, that's the the mage, right? The, the man burner? Oh, the impaler. Never mind. Oh, okay. Well, um, it took a great deal of time, effort, and blood, but we managed to place scouts in the northern lands controlled by the Slitherikai. They are moving their forces south, preparing an assault. This means that their primary fortress in the ruins of Formello is poorly defended. A small force, striking quickly with, and with surprise, might be able to slip in and slay their general, Gavasa Os, the Impaler. Huh. Is that, isn't that like their main commander? Like, yeah, their, their general? I, mean, I suppose the three, the three warlords are kind of, kind of equals, I guess, on the same level. But still, you'd think that the, the, the commander of their main forces uh, would be, you know, taking out, taking him out would have pretty catastrophic effects on the effectiveness of the entire horde. At least you would hope so. Huh. Anyway, uh, the primary fortress is poorly defended. A small force, yes, can take out Gavasas. I've chosen you for this honor. Yes, obviously. You will get a boat. Yes. Slip into northern lands, travel east through enemy territory, find a way into Formello, kill Gavasa Oz, and hopefully escape. Hopefully, huh? Is this even possible? <laughs> I mean, it does sound like a pretty tall order. Especially when he's already when he already has agents up there. Hmm. Only you will be uh, will be able to answer that question. I think we have a tiny chance of success, but the result, if achieved, would be great. Thus, it is a worthwhile risk of your lives. Huh. Yeah, if you put it that way. You have a brief feeling of nostalgia for the tunnels under the fort under the, under the food depot. Nah, it's fine. Where is my boat? The docks are on the river north of Almaria. Go there. You will you will be allowed in. The officer on duty will direct you along the proper route to enemy controlled lands. How will I get through enemy lands? He chuckles. I recommend stealth. Avoid the enemy when you can. Ambush if you can't. Keep alert for signs of our spies. There are several of them up there. Perhaps one has found a way for you to enter Formello easily. Oh, and take lots of food. You, uh, It will be a long journey. Yes, well, we have lots of food. I think we should be good on that, in that regard, at least. Hmm. What do I do when I reach Formello? Find a way in. The gates will probably be closed, but there may be tunnels in the stone under the city. One of them is sure to still exist. Uh, there are many tunnels. Yes, one of them is sure to still exist. A scout might help you to find it. How will I kill Gavasa Oz? Um, probably by sticking something pointy uh, through him. Multiple times, ideally. Despite the Impaler's dramatic name, I believe him to be quite old, a fra fragile aging warlord looking for final glory. You can kill him using any of the standard methods. <laughs> a sword, perhaps. Yes. Um, maybe two swords and a spear. And some magic, for good measure. Maybe a few arrows. Okay, how can I escape? Yeah. Uh... Records indicate that there was a teleportation pylon in the southeast corner of Formella. Oh, really? If it is still intact and you can reach it, you can free the enemy lands in an instant. If it is no longer intact, uh, you might have to be versatile. Huh. It sure would be useful for a pylon to still exist there. For... Yeah, for escaping, I guess, but also just for being able to return there. You know, standard... for the standard reasons. Okay. Can I maybe get more training and supplies? Hmm. Nothing new, huh? Nothing slightly better? No access to any special resources? Now that you're sending us on this... Well, basically suicide mission, really? Except... I guess this was open for us? Apparently it wasn't open before. Or else I would have entered, right? Uh, we're free to take these. If he mentioned that at some point, then I sure missed it, but... Um, well, I took the things now. Not exactly amazing supplies, but it's something. Uh, these can be sold. Thank you. 
Not sure why they're... Are these beds? Well, there's a bed. What are these things? Not quite sure what I'm looking at there. They also look like beds of some sort. I don't know. But this is more like, more of a storeroom, I suppose. I guess storing extra beds, why not? Right, and this is still impossible to pick. We still haven't been able to talk to the king himself. I guess we're not quite important enough for that, but surely after we return uh, triumphant, having slain the warlord himself, that will warrant us some sort of extra privileges, right? Nothing new here. Hey, Mary Hugh. Yeah. Nothing new from you. Just as expected. I mean, if nothing else, I didn't mean to talk to you. If nothing else, we should be able to pick up our one. Uh, that's not the right person. Wait, where is he? Oh, that's that's the one. Can I have some food? Yep, our one roll. <laughs> then we are allowed the four of us. Uh, can I have my per diem? Oh yeah, sixty coins. Well, thanks, I guess. Not sure what changed, but apparently now we once again get our get our payment. Uh, can I have more supplies? Yes, word comes. I give precious supplies to you. Very precious. Hurts to lose. He unlocks one of the boxes in the supply room. Oh, I completely forgot that that was a thing. Can I have more supplies? Yes. Can I have more supplies? No. <laughs> what supplies? You take all we have. Uh, okay. One of the boxes... Like this one? Apparently so. Knowledge elixir. Yes, please. And more healing elixirs. 46 of them. I really should just replace all of my healing potions with those already. Well, eventually. Eventually I will, maybe. And this one? Okay, that's also new. Uh, also there. Put those mushrooms there. And then there's... Oh, this box that I guess we must have had access to a while ago. Yeah, you take those. And you take those. I'm too, too lazy to divide them up right now. Huh. Are we free to just take this stuff? No, of course not. Okay, I guess I could have access could have had access to all three of those boxes maybe some time ago, but you know, it's fine. Better late better late than never. Anyway, um Yeah, our quests our list of quests hasn't really changed, but of course now a major new route has opened up to us, finally. Uh, in fact, yeah, this could be really huge. I mean, it's gonna access uh, allow us access into the honeycomb area, if nothing else. Access over here, I suppose. I guess all the way through here into this lake, unless there's something stopping us. There could be rapids or you know rocks just blocking off part of the river. Anywhere really. I guess where I'm really supposed to go is up here this lake which of course should have access to all of this all of this area around the um, former settlement of grindstone not sure if that even still exists maybe all the way up to fort monastery i mean this this is honestly this might open up a lot for draco and then ultimately for mellow yeah oh boy okay i mean i don't know if i'm gonna be allowed through all the way over to this lake and, and up here to this one. That could potentially open up absolutely everything that still remains. I I have my doubts about that. They're probably going to stop me somewhere. And I think we're going to find out next time, actually. Um, because I have now managed to waste a lot of time. Well, not, not waste it necessarily, but last time I looked, I was thinking uh, there was still so much time left. I was wondering what I would be doing to, uh, what I could possibly do to fill it, but uh, I somehow managed to do it, apparently. You will take a look at that boat, though. Oh, that's just open. You enter the boatyard. Sure enough, three newly made boats are in the water, tied securely to the docks. A captain stands near them, inspecting them for defects. Defect? Defects? When you enter, he turns and walks toward you. The boats are very well made by Avernine standards. Wide, flat-bottomed craft, perfect for navigating the dark, cold waters of Avernum. And here they are, made for you. 
and your nearly impossible mission. Ah, come on. Main missions have been very, very doable so far. Captain Dwight, hello there. Captain Dwight looks at you with the reverence resign reserved for the imminently doomed. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? Just say the word. Hmm. Huh. Um, what do I do now? Just take a boat. Take your pick, whichever one looks best. Then row north. I don't know much about your mission, so I can't tell you more than that. I just hope you fare better than the last group. Uh, last group? Excuse me? Hmm. Anything I need to know about using the boats? I mean, we just assume that we can... That we're <laughs> capable of navigating the rivers. Uh, I mean, it's maybe, maybe assuming a, a little bit much. Oh, they're as stable as we could make them. Just point it where you want it to go and, and row. You should even handle rapids well, if it comes to that. Though it probably won't. Uh, wait, oh, you, you mean... It probably won't come to that. Good. Uh, I mean, also, traveling rapids downwards, I guess, is one thing. Traveling in the opposite direction? Probably not so much. Tell me about the first group. They were going the same route as you. Up north, past the Eastern Gallery, then east. But instead of boats, they were using something called the Orpothrolny. Oh, yeah. We heard about those. It had helped them fly, or so they hoped. What happened to them? Nobody knows. Never heard from them again. That's what you get for trusting in fickle magic instead of good solid Evernight wood. Hmm. I mean, it served us well enough in the past. Uh, do you have any extra supplies for me? Oh, of course. He points to the locker by the north wall. Take anything you need. We aren't likely to be attacked soon, or if we are, all is lost. He laughs nervously. Huh. Yeah, fair enough. You weren't going to tell me about this, uh, voluntarily, though, huh? Well, I'll forgive you. This time. Uh, does she have those? I guess so. Uh, and this as well? Ah, nice. Thanks for the extra supplies. And what about this? Okay, that's not for me. Gotcha. Well, okay. I guess I'll choose this one. Why not? Uh, it looks like we won't actually be able to travel down this way. Not that there's really anywhere to travel to. So, north it is. It's been a long time coming. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.